Guys, thanks for watching season one. We really appreciate it. And all of your feedback in the comments have been awesome. We are filming for season two already, and we would love for you to put in the comments below what you would like to see for season two, because we appreciate your feedback. Don't worry about the break. While we're filming season two, we will be doing live videos from job sites where you will be able to chat and communicate with our staff and ask questions real time. We won't leave you hanging. Also, if you're willing to support us for the next season, visit our merchandise website below and feel free to purchase shirts or hats or anything that you want uh, to support us and the guys to continue uh, being able to film this stuff. Another exciting announcement is we are going to be starting online and in-person training for all of you guys that are interested in learning this business or really just getting educated to apply for another business uh, in your city. So we're excited to be able to offer that. It's gonna be the end of 2019 when that launches. So you will get certified in crime scene cleanup and meth lab cleanup and learn this business from the ground up just like our guys do. Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Hello, hello. We are here in Melbourne, Florida, doing a hoard and suspected bio with two of our newest tags. My name's Fiona. It's my first gig, actually, uh, today. So, super excited. I didn't really know what to expect with this job. So, literally, like, I came in with a blank slate. Uh, when I walked in, it was almost, like, overwhelming because there was just stuff, like, everywhere. Didn't really know like where to begin. Oh, you guys know what happened here? <laughs> like, no, I literally know nothing. A guy was staying here overnight with a friend, woke, went to bed after an argument, like an altercation, woke up, chased a guy around the house with a shotgun, shot him twice, had just enough time to reload it, and blew his fucking brains out. This is a homicide. As you do. Yeah, I guess, <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of, you know, I'm like, okay. <laughs> but I don't understand. There's like giant holes in the roof. As they're walking, they're still putting more holes in the roof. What we're going to do is we're just emptying all the contents. I don't know how I can treat for mold. Uh, so I'm going to try to treat for mold. You're going to have to be in your respirators 100%. Um, I don't see any biohazard as of right now. Mm -hmm. So, and he got shot by the mattress. There's not, like, it's not, you yeah. know, it's not a, a typical blow your brains out with a shotgun type of thing. Okay. So, definitely need respirators. There's mold everywhere. I know you want to come in. Follow me. So uh, you can see that this is collapsed in. There was two trees in the house. Hurricane Irma did it, which is two years ago, September 10th. Another, when we're working in here and disturbing stuff, we're definitely gonna be using our respirators. The mosquitoes are a little ridiculous. Like I'm gonna catch like the West Nile or something. The bathroom is over there. Really pretty storks on the back. Tile. We're gonna turn around. The roof is literally open in every room. Um, Fiona, try not to go too, too far. The okay. kitchen is really bad. We're gonna empty out the house, guys. Pretty much be it. Just empty it? We're just emptying the house and it's gonna be... So they want it sales clean. <laughs> There's no way it's gonna be sales clean in there because of everything going on so we're gonna empty the house empty the garage we'll figure that part out 
we'll wipe down the flat surfaces, we'll do a sweep, call it a day. Like that's about all we can do. Hey guys, we are in Riverview, Florida. You can see the flies flying around my head. It's definitely been an interesting evening. I got this call about eight o'clock. We are now, oh, it's 10 o'clock. So we have a two hour response time. Um, good thing is we all had our dinner. If you follow me, gentleman was not an elderly man. Um, they found him after about four to five weeks, the coroner said, unknown cause of death. If you follow me. The array of flies is just shocking to me. Absolutely shocking. There are hundreds of hundreds and thousands of flies. Um, nobody's even sure how they got in here. Uh, the first first day, because this is going to be a two day guy. Um, First day is we're actually just gonna come in and remove the biohazard. So you can see this is where the gentleman died. The odor is not terrible at all. Um, only thing different about this guy than most of our other decomps, this one smells a little sour. I don't know if it's because of the AC where it was set at. It was set at 73. I'm not sure, but he's been here a while. So we did we did look underneath the bed. There is some biohazard under the bed. Tonight's main focus is going to be removing the mattress, the box spring, and what the corner had left for us in the pile. So he did die in bed. This is uh this is actually some of his arm right there. So we have some of his hair up towards the top. Uh, we have more body hair over there. Sadly, we don't see any maggots. There isn't any maggots right now. Um, but if you turn around and you, you look on the bed, the flies are, are feasting. So we're gonna go ahead and suit up and we're gonna get this party started because kind of want to be home before 1 a.m. Stay tuned, guys. So if they sell this house, like they fix it up and sell it, do you have to disclose what happened in it? I bought my house, I asked. <laughs> like did someone die in this house? I asked when I bought mine. So like essentially what I do now, anytime I rent or purchase a house, I start a garden anyway. So I automatically grow sage and I automatically grow the rosemary. Like I am blending my house from the outside <laughs> yeah. in. Yeah. Kyle don't fucking play around. <laughs> Cause the fact that you can clean it and it literally looks like nothing happened, I'm like I don't trust anything. And rebuild it. The spirits and all that kind of stuff mm. still living in that. That's bad juju. Mm. Yeah, like there's I'm a soul trapped in there somewhere. Yeah, exactly. So that's why I'm like, like, I get so excited when I move somewhere because I'm like, do garden, let's do this, sage like, rosemary. I'm not cohabiting with a ghost. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind. I talk to them. I mean, and if they're feeling frisky, whatever, they can watch. <laughs> I'm not sure what the worst job would be for me. It might be decomp, but it's not really the smell. It's more of a texture thing for me. Yeah, I can no, do no, odors no, all day. No, when it's like the mucusy type texture, might gag a little, not gonna lie. Uh, fat is like super greasy too. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it reminds me of like oil mixed with water. So that'll probably be interesting to clean. <laughs> oh. Is that bio? I don't know. Eli, can you stand back, please? Yep. It's not indicating. 
anywhere. That's phenomenal. That's mold. That's mold, motherfucker. That's all mold from the leak. Which makes sense. Look at it. I literally thought I found a shotgun. I was terrified. I was like, I did not sign up for this shit today. No, that's mold. Look at that. Even like that back corner? Yeah, like nothing. Oh, I'm alright. There's like, I did not, like, there should not have been bio sitting here for that long. Period. Like, <laughs> period. There should not have been bio sitting here. Hashtag not cool. Let's get this gone. No, oh, the thing has been leaking for two years. That's so weird. Nothing. What the fuck? Okay. I'm really surprised there was no blood, actually. Because it really did look like it. It would make sense for there to be blood. We are here on day number two of the mermaid suicide. I found out details this morning that it was a gunshot suicide. There is, uh, there's no blood splatter. He did it very cleanly. We'll go inside and I'll show you. So the reason I called it a mermaid was because of the way, unfortunately, he had um, killed himself. It, it literally looks like a mermaid with the fin whole nine yards. So if you follow me, excuse our mask, Juan is getting suited up, double gloved. So if you look up here, a lot of the flies are now dying because we took the majority of the biohazard last night. We ended up getting out of here about in between 11.30 and midnight. All the flies up there, all the way around. Most of them are very, very calm now because there's hardly anything for them to sustain themselves. So we're gonna come in here. This is where it happened. Apparently he had buried his face in the pillows, which is why it was solely on the bed. There's no blood splatter anywhere. There's, there's nothing but the bed. It's kind of crazy because I didn't even see a bullet hole in the mattress. So stuck in one of the pillows. The gun has been removed from the premises. Um, I got permission. I'm going to rip this stuff down here so we can get some light going on. Um, it's doubled up. So we just really want to be able to see there's no actual lights in here. We have. <laughs> wow. You didn't want anybody seeing in here. Um, we do have work lights if we need them. So I use work lights and extra electricity. If nature gives us a little. Eventually I'll get to it. Um, so as of last night, you guys saw, you, you guys had actually seen what was inside the mattress. On the exterior, we pretty much had to carve out the mattress which was a nightmare because it was full of all of those individual little spring things. Aw, there's a storm coming. Maggots are not present. We haven't found any maggots, which is kind of disappointing because they're cute and squishy. Um, but the, the maggots that were here have obviously feasted. Underneath this wood, it's just a pool of 
Bonnie Fluid, Keeman, Fecal uh, Matter, Body Fat, Blood, Skin, um, jobs like this, you know. The body is an amazing thing. What looked like bio wasn't. Like it was just really bad mold. I was ready for bio, to be honest with you. Uh, it wasn't nerve wrecking to me at all. I was actually kind of excited for it to be bio. Like I, a part of me wanted it to be bio. What's interesting to me with this house, there's such random stuff throughout. Um, what really caught my attention is like the amount of like bullets that's just like randomly placed. And it's a variety of bullets, it's not just one type. Oh, anything about myself that I would share is I'm super excited to be doing this type of stuff so I'm ready for whatever it's thrown at me to do I'm ready for it to be over <laughs> wish I don't know plus the long drive home it really does I'm mean, actually it's a lot longer than the last job last job was the one in the apartment I believe and it didn't take too long, but this one's a lot longer since it's a whole entire house instead of a uh, an apartment. I just don't like that it's so hot, but it's the job. The stuff that we find in the house with all that devil worshiping stuff, it's kind of creepy, believe it or not. Not something I want to see. Mm. <laughs> I have almost everything out of the living room minus this. What's going on, guys? They had a rat? A rat. There was a wrench stuck in it. I mean, I don't, I'm not a lesbian or anything. <laughs> so if you follow me in the house now that I got a respirator on, um, we're going to go from the garage inside. We're about 70% done. So these are the only three big remaining furniture pieces left in here. Everything else is just little small stuff. They were working on the roof and back here. So more stuff actually has fallen. We have this room here. There's only three big items. Everything else is shovel. It'll be super, super easy. I hope, I hope, off to work we go. If you go back that way, you'll see that we got all of this stuff out of here. All the big stuff. We just have a little itty bitty stuff. This closet is where they were actually growing pot. So, smoke a little weed. This is where they were growing it from. I found out the story was a drug deal gone bad, which is why the guy's brains got blown out. So, somebody was killed over some pot, which is just ignorant. We're actually working with the insurance company. They had a, they had a crew in here earlier removing trees. It's fucking mosquitoes. Removing trees from the roof. Um, and he explained, he actually got the call first, first uh, what, like a week after it had happened or some shit like that. And he was explaining what the fuck he did, like what happened. It's gonna rain on my head. Like, so, there was three trees in the roof. They just finished removing the trees today. Uh, uh, meaning the roof is open. There's already water in there. Um, I would rather not have anything getting soaked and falling on my head as it's raining. It just makes it a little more dangerous to work in. I'm extremely nervous. So essentially what I'm gonna be doing is gonna be acting as though I am changing the oil in a car. I am going to fully suit up. <clears throat> I'm a little nervous. I'm going to fully suit up and uh, I am going to puncture a hole in between or I guess in the mattress 
up underneath. And I'm gonna use this as my drip pan to catch all of my biofluid so we can finish disassembling the Tempur-Pedic mattress. I am actually a little nervous I'm gonna throw up. This is the first time that I've ever uh, been a little queasy on a job. It's definitely not the odor. I think it's gonna be more of a mindset, like visual thing as it just kind of So, um, I'm gonna suit up. I'm actually going to triple glove over my Tyvex. I'm, ha I'm gonna have Juan duct tape my Tyvex, my gloves over my Tyvex. I don't wanna take a chance on any of this body fluid splashing back up onto me. Fuck. Uh, that's so disgusting. It is a lot of uh, fat. What do you say? Blood? No. Bio? Fat? Greasy fat. Yeah, it's a lot of greasy fat. Like, a ton of greasy fat. <laughs> Luke, I am your father. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck my life. All right, so we have the oil pan ready to get changed. We're gonna go change the body fan. Oh, Jesus, ew. Oh God, he's like dripping. Ew, oh my God. Oh. Fuck me sideways. All right, go ahead and set her down. We'll let her drain a little bit. I'm okay. Definitely a mind over matter thing. I'm, I'm a little disturbed, but I'll be okay. That was at the foot end, so I haven't even made it to the, like where the body, was actually laying. It smells a little bit stronger now, but I think it's because we stirred it up. Let me hurry to start that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, so I just finished taking my after photo. There's still a few things going on in here, but it's literally final touches. You can see we got the majority of the water up off the floor. It's been drizzling all day, so it's just kind of coming in. Um, Fiona here is just doing the last minute, bigger items that we couldn't fit in trash bags. She's also gonna take out the two pieces of insulation that we have hanging. So that's actually gonna be over in this bedroom. She's gonna have the two pieces of insulation hanging here. She's just, she's literally just removing it. Bam! Done! Woo uh, this bedroom was one of the ones that flooded last night with a sore. This is the other bedroom that is just continuously flooding. The ceiling has literally, it, it's just collapsed. If you look over here, you can have, you can physically see the outside. One of the I'm gonna go back through, I'm gonna show you guys the garage. And we're here with the garage. So, this, these items here, these few items just need to be loaded up. All of the appliances are staying. We're pretty much good to go. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm racking my brain. I want the ozone in this vicinity here. Uh, so I'm just kind of racking my brain, racking my brain of where I can put it. Let's do a walkthrough real quick. So let's start at the front door. Okay, we're back over here at the bedroom. Woohoo! Um, decomp is gone. Completely sealed. You can actually come in here. You don't even need a respirator at this point. It smells like fish. Fish. I don't know why it's sour. Mermaid suicide. Um, and paint. So if you take a look in here, you can see we sealed the floor. You can't even have a fan going. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this fan going with the ozone in here. Most of the flies have actually died. It's perfect for me because they don't have a food source anymore. So there's nothing for them to live on. Um, that's essentially it. I mean, I don't, I don't really have much else to tell you guys. This was like a four person job. So we started it at 
10 o'clock last night, nine, between 9.30 and 10. Uh, we also finished late just before midnight, but we were done and home before 1 a.m., which made me excited. It was, it was trying. The bed was actually the most trying part because it was one of those fancy, you know, like tilt your way, whatever, your feet up, your, your head up kind of thing. It was just fancy. So we had to disassemble everything and go from there. Um, we actually moved the majority of the bedroom furniture into the bathroom. The bed was a nightmare. Um, anything else we kind of just left in the living room for the family to come in, come in and discard. That's, that's pretty much everything. So I'm setting this for 48 hours. We're on, we're moving. Keys, cigarette, testicles, spectacles, we're good to go. Have a good day, guys. Hi, this is Laura Spaulding, CEO of Spaulding Decon. Hey guys, Kyle Coons here, lead tech with Spaulding Decon. As a part of the LGBT community, we take suicide prevention very seriously. If you are thinking about suicide or you know someone who needs help with suicide, please call the suicide hotline. Yeah, the telephone number is 800-273-8255. It saved my life. It saved several people's lives uh, that I know personally. 24-7, 365 days a year, somebody is always ready to listen. Um, we definitely have a higher rate in our community for suicide. Somebody's always there to listen to you. We get a lot of messages on social media that says thank you for, for doing what you do because you actually prevented me from, from completing a suicide or attempting a suicide. So we take it very seriously what we do and we really appreciate your support and following us and subscribing to our YouTube. Oh. Chicken? What? Were you fucking recording me during that? That was so gross. That was really good. That, I mean, that was, a good, that was kind of was, a 10. Is there anything that you weren't expecting from the show? Uh, Kyle! <laughs> was that you? That was gross. I heard that so loud.